Welcome to the Bio Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of the biopolymers in research and provide a discussion of its applications. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. We start with an introduction to biopolymers biopolymers. Polymeric substances produced by living organisms have received recent attention in research because of their unique characteristics. Biopolymers are chain-like molecules made up of repeating chemical blocks produced from renewable resources which could be degraded in the environment. Unique non-toxicity, biodegradability properties of biopolymers boosting their applications in electronics, medical devices, energy, food packaging, etc. Incorporation of nano-sized reinforcement in the biopolymers or making the composite of biopolymers can improve the properties of biopolymers, therefore, enhance practical applications. Starting with the natural biopolymers, we are able to distinguish our macromolecules as the four main biopolymers, namely, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids. Constituting much of the macromolecular structure such as genes or gene products, they are made of monomers and or with other polymers. Monomers are smaller micromolecules such as nucleic acids, amino acids, fatty acid, and sugar. Assembled together as repeating subunits, monomers form long macromolecules which are referred to as polymers. The use of biopolymers from different sources has been investigated for many years for pharmaceutical and biomedical applications. This has resulted in a multitude of healthcare products on the market that use biopolymers in the formulation as a functional excipient or even as an active ingredient. Currently, biopolymer-based carriers for DNA vaccine design are being explored. Moreover, the diverse compositions, tunable physical behavior, and wide variety from which to choose have fueled the interest in biopolymers. Biopolymer scaffolds for tissue engineering allow cellular organization into tissue substitutes and can regulate development of connective tissue to minimize scarring. Cultured skin substitutes, consisting of autologous fibroblasts and keratinocytes on a biopolymer sponge, have been successfully used to treat full thickness burns. In addition, the relatively low cost of and renewable nature make this class of material particularly attractive to high-value sectors such as the biomedical and disease application. Taken together, biopolymers are used in healthcare and medical applications. In other areas, they are increasingly deployed in areas of renewable energy and sustainability applications. Key to the choice of biopolymer to be used in construction often depends on mechanical behavior, moisture absorption, photodegradation stability, availability, compatibility and the associated cost. We hope you have enjoyed our sharing and see you in the next video. We would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates.